Hey everybody, I'm Leonard. I'm an instructor at Elevated Yogi. And today I want to talk about mental diets. And this is something that's been really helpful for me, even more powerful than my vegan diet could ever be. And it's my mental diet. And the power of our imagination is so infinite. If you look around right now, everything that you see pretty much first started in someone's imagination, whether it be cell phones, cars, spaceships, satellites, light bulbs, anything. Things that seem to be impossible before they were materialized. All these things were first in someone's imagination. We all have access to this creative power. We all have an imagination. And we are all materializing things based off of our imagination, whether we're aware of that or not. And we gotta slow down and pay more attention to what our mental diet is because this is influencing our imagination. So, just like my vegan diet, you wanna find those foods that make you feel really good, those foods that are good for you with good nutrition. So with your mental diet, you wanna find that information, that media, that stuff online that makes you feel good, that's in alignment with your vision for yourself, that's going to help you reach your goal. That empowering mental food. We can't just take the first thing that pops up, like the most convenient mental food. Like, for example, if we wake up in the morning and the news is on and it's something about sickness or whatever and it makes you feel bad. That's the McDonald's of our mental diet, that convenient information, that information that's being just pushed right in front of you by companies, by corporations, by whoever. Don't take that first food. We can't eat that McDonald's. We, that's, I mean, nothing against McDonald's, but that's just um, used not to prove my point as far as comparing it to a vegan diet. So, um, we want to consume that information that's empowering to our vision, whatever our vision is, and make sure that the information we're consuming is making us feel good. We consume the information that makes us feel happy, the information that makes us feel secure, information that makes us feel empowered, information that makes us feel brave, information that makes us feel that we're in control. Sometimes we unconsciously take in so much random information for our mental diet and we're not even aware of it and we're feeling a certain type of way about this information. It's making us feel bad, messing up our stomach. And we're not even really conscious that we're taking in this information because it's just so convenient. And we really gotta slow down and do our best to go on a mental diet. Being vegan, it does make me feel, it makes me feel good. I feel I have a lot more energy, but Having a mental diet is so much beyond that. It makes me feel very good. It pretty much, it shapes your imagination and you materialize through your imagination. So be very conscious of what you're taking in mentally. Notice the self-talk that you're having with yourself. Just like we breathe all day, we're having self-talk with ourselves all day. We're telling ourselves different things. 
Notice your imagination over the course of 24 hours. What are you thinking about? Are you thinking about things that are in alignment with your vision? Or are you just accepting all these random things that come from the external world? All this fast food, mentally, basically, that's just there. Where is your imagination going over the course of a day? Be conscious of where your imagination is going. If you notice your imagination going in any direction that's disempowering to what you want to materialize, cut it out. Stop eating that right there. Don't eat, don't eat it anymore. So that's just something I feel really strongly about. I wanted to share that with you all today. This is my first video, so I'm looking to make probably maybe one to two videos per week about whatever subject I feel strongly about at the time. So I'll check you all out next week. Thanks so much for listening. Make sure you hop on that mental diet today because unlike the vegan diet where we only got a couple of restaurants available, sometimes it's hard to find food. With the mental diet, all the restaurants are right here, right now. Whatever information you want to take in, you have access to infinite information in this in the year 2020. So pay attention to what you're consuming. Stay away from that fast food. Take in that information that enlightens you, that makes you feel secure, that makes you stronger the information that makes you feel good. And stick to that diet. It's something we gotta do over time. Like with a vegan diet, whoever's vegan, whatever your diet is, we notice that the first day we hop on that diet, it might not give us those immediate results, but after we stick with that diet for a long, amount of time we start to notice these different results same thing with the mental diet control your thoughts control the information that you're consuming for a certain amount of time and keep doing it do it for a couple of weeks and you'll begin to notice different results and what you're materializing with the vegan diet you might notice yourself losing weight notice yourself feeling a little bit better with this mental diet, you're gonna notice what you materializing. Like, you materializing shit, like, that's healthy for you mentally. And you could listen to me and say, yeah, that sounds like it makes sense. But if you, if you don't try it, it means nothing. So, hop on that mental diet ASAP.